Do you ever go to an estate sale and pick up an old clock but it doesn't work? I'm gonna teach you how to oil it. In this video, we're gonna take, take this clock apart and we're gonna oil it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help me and does support my channel. Let's get into the video. So you want to be able to make some money with the old clock but you're not sure what to do. Don't be afraid, you got nothing to lose, especially if you buy it right. I went to a couple of estate sales the other day, I picked up a whole bunch of clocks, and here's one of them. This is a great, beautiful clock here. This is, is a, uh, a New Haven clock uh, from New Haven, Connecticut. That's what it's called, made by New Haven. You can see that right there. Um, so the problem, the clock is in pretty good shape. It's got a few uh, dings and dangs, but it is quite old clock. Um, a little bit of just uh, simple restoring, um, a little bit of uh, get some patch, uh, what do you call it? So, uh, furniture stick and you can kind of really touch a lot of this up you don't want to do a lot of touch up to this you don't want to do, really do a lot people like the natural look of these clocks so I wouldn't do anything crazy um, but the main thing is we want to oil this clock so I'm going to basically just give you a quick overall on how to oil the clock real simple take off the hands we're going to look at the clock in the back here real quick let's take a look at that and let's see what we're talking about so here's the clock I got I, as you can see inside here this keeps let's see that keeps stopping so normally that would keep running. So there's an issue with that. So most likely, it just needs a simple oiling to get it going. I'm gonna show you how to oil the clock. I'm gonna take this all apart, and let's get to it right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And any other questions that I'll leave below, and I'll teach you how to basically oil the clock. Very, very easy. So if you see a deal out there, and especially at a yard sale, you can get, pick up these clocks for like five or ten dollars. I pay a little bit more than that because it's hard to find old clocks, um, especially with the beautiful chimes like this. These are really nice clocks. Um, had a key, the pendulum. This pendulum goes inside here, so this pendulum here, so just so you know, goes inside the hook in the back. And this is how you adjust the the time. Okay, either fast or slow. Uh, so the weights. So it just as the clock ticks, the lower it goes, uh, the slower it goes, the higher it goes, the faster it goes. So that's kind of how that works. It's basically uses centrifugal force, um, and that's kind of keeps the beat, and then also how you get the time uh, to be correct. All right, guys, so let's take this apart. There's a couple of screws in here I'm gonna take apart. I'm gonna take apart the whole clock, um, take, apart, take off the front handles, the front hands, and then uh, we'll go from there. It's never happened to me before. I could, could not get this nut loose, and you gotta be very careful, because when you grab these nuts, okay, on these front clocks, they usually go counterclockwise. They usually come off pretty easy, especially with the needle nose pliers. But this one it was jammed on that you could not get it off. So the secret is just put a little oil on the top of the thread and a little oil in the back of the thread and just let it seep in there for a few minutes and just keep working it. Don't force it because you'll bend this hand as you turn it. So the idea is just to make it and just to get it in there, the penetrating oil, and then eventually it loosens up and it comes right off. So just had to work on this for about five minutes, but it is now loose. It's now coming off as you can see here. It's in my hand. I put that in the little thing. Okay. Take this piece off here. It's like a little washer. Save this two, actually, two washers. Okay. Let's see these two little washers. Whatever's on here, take, save, and remember what is what. Okay. So this is at 10 o'clock. Let's remember that. These hands usually just come right off pretty easy. Okay. Take this hand right off. All right. So don't be afraid. If it's stuck, don't force it, a little penetrating oil, a little bit even just the regular oil, let it sit inside there and just give it a little force back and forth and it'll come right off. This is basically put on by pressure. This is this just pushed on. So to get these off, again, little needle nose pliers and just wiggle it really carefully back and forth and they'll just come right off. I wanna take this time to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're learning something. Please don't forget to like, share, and also, most importantly to subscribe. It does help support my channel to keep me doing what I'm doing. Let's get back to the video. It's coming off, it's just stuck because it's on by pressure. And that's it. Okay, so there you go. Let's go the shaft on. You can see here, and this shaft like slides into the shaft and this to this inside inside shaft here. And that's at 10 o'clock. Don't forget that. So that's where that goes back at 10 o'clock. And now we go to the back of the clock, guys. Next step is take off the chime. And to take off the chime, basically, there's just one screw in the bottom here. Let's see. I'll take off this bolt, and that chime will come right off. Let's do that right now. Got the chime out. Here's the bolt. The chime again. This was really not rusted in there but it's been sitting there probably 70 years and never removed this clock was probably i don't, I don't think it's ever been serviced because these things never come out that that hard this was like really hard to get out so there's a screw here's the chime just keep everything in a little box keep everything together put that to the side 
So now, here's, now you can really see inside of what the mechanism is here. So you can see what's going on here. Turn this around to get a better shot. Okay. So, okay. So here's the clock here. So you can see it just doesn't, doesn't want to run. Okay, it does chime correctly, so the chime works fine. Usually, always just the escapement. Usually, it has to be um, oiled. The clock has to be oiled. You can see this clock has just it's been sitting here for a really long time. It needs to be oiled. I think these two screws will help remove the plate, and then we'll take a look from there. There's a screw here and a screw here. Hopefully, you can see. Take, let's take those out and let's see what we have. In the back, like I told you, there's two long screws. Hold the whole bezel in, hold everything until so this whole thing slides out. Just slide this whole thing out. Now you can see what you're working with. So now you have the mechanism in your hand. You can get to all these oil pivot points here. You gotta clean them, they're all dirty. You can see there's all little oils and grease and all these things. And hopefully you can see the dirty. Then I want to get to the back ones and the front ones as well in here. So they get to the front ones here, it looks like to me, like I said, this is the first time I'm working on this part. Hopefully it takes off the face. There's a couple of um, pins here that could hold it on as well. There's a pin in here. Hopefully you can see these pins here. These are like little, uh, Almost like cotter pins. Yeah, they're like cotter, and they hold the clock face to the front. I would say, uh, I'm gonna pull these pins out here. So this is a little bit, a little more advanced, you know. So, but you know, if you come across these type of things, these pins just pull out again. What a pair of pliers, the clock face. So I'm gonna pull the pins off first and see if this comes right off. I don't have to pull around with these screws at all. I think if that's what I'm gonna do. This is my first time working on this model here. Um, I'm gonna pull up these pins. This should pull off this off this base here. It looks like to me that's how it's connected. And then we can oil the front and the back, and let's see how this works. Let's get let's get to it. Wires, and let's start with one. And they just should really, just really just should pull right out. Little wiggle, and they pull right out. See that? Here's your pin. Save those pins. Don't drop them. Don't lose them. You need those pins. Again, here we go. Here. Hopefully you can. Hopefully I got a good angle, and you can see. Just wiggle them, and just pull. Another one over here. Wiggle and pull. And one more over here. There's four pin sets. And then we just get inside here. Wiggle and pull. Okay. And this hopefully should come off. Again, this is my first time working on this clock. Let's take a look. Alright, beautiful. Look at that. So now like I said, all the oil is dried out. You can just see that. I get a little rubbing alcohol. I get like a little dry cloth. And I'll leave below where you can you know, find all this stuff here. You can clean all this stuff up. Inside the joints and inside the, uh, the pivot points. Just to get that main grease off the top. And these are the culprits right here that's stopping this clock. You can just see it. It's just loaded. And that alone will be enough to, to stop this clock from moving. Here it looks like this canal here. Got a lot of play on that one, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, if they wobble too much or have too much, um, too much space, that'll also stop the clock from running. And then it has to be has to put a bushing in there, and that's a little above my pay grade. And I don't do that, but my first attack is always. And you can see the dirt. That's all that old dirt and grime. Okay. And my first attack is always to clean all the pivot points, get all the old crap out of there, and then uh, see if we can get it running. And depending on how bad the, the shafts are, depending, you know, sometimes they're really bad. This one here looks, this one has a lot of movement in it, so that's, that's not a good sign. They shouldn't be moving like that at all. And then you gotta get in there and get the oil out of them. They're dirty, dirty inside here. And he's like a little tiny screwdriver. To get in there. Yeah, this, this clock is probably, like I said, maybe 70 years never been serviced. Okay, guys, so I cleaned it the best I could. Uh, it's pretty decent. It's already trying to start to run already. You can just see it. It's not even touching it, it's just kind of going on its own already. So once you get the oil in it, the thing should start running all, all by itself, pretty much. Then the weight just helps keep the time. That's what the weight does. And that, that, but that should run. That's just how, so we get a little, this is a little clock oil that I have and I use a little pin, okay? And I just want to just get a little bit in each joint, each um, well, basically. And all you do is just touch it, basically. I just want to get a little bit of oil in there. Not too much, because then it just overloads it. Just a little bit of oil. That one is really bad, so hopefully it doesn't have to be replaced with a new bushing, but this one here really has a lot of movement. You can just see that. 
don't know if you can see that in the camera. Yeah. So that one might have to be bushing. So hopefully not. Again, I don't do that. Um, I'm not against learning how to do it, but it's something I don't want to get into. It's like a whole nother kit, and you get to buy bushings and the whole thing. And don't want to don't want to go down there because that's not what I do. So if that is the case, then you can just sell this basically for parts and repair, and you can maybe get your money back. It does. It is the risk of yard sailing and you know doing what you do, but that's the fun of it. You know what I mean? That's 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 the fun of it. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. It all depends. Most of the time you win because people like these parts. You can't get these parts any longer, so people will pay for parts. So you might I probably put this on for parts and repair. Too much oil. Sorry about that. Uh, parts and repair. I probably put this on for like seventy-five dollars. Um, if it's running in the clock and all that, definitely one fifty. Clean the clock up a little bit. A little bit of work. That's important for the point here, and also get inside. That's important. That's another important thing as well. Just be careful when you hold everything. Just get inside there. That's the important part over here. Important there. That's the rocker itself. Let's get in there a little bit of oil. Right there. Let's go to the other side. I don't want too much oil. This thing has not been oiled in a long time, so I'm actually over oiling it. I'm really trying to get the oil in there because it has not been oiled, I'm guessing, forever. And that's a long time since the clock's been made. Very long time. And it's interesting on this clock here, it's a beautiful clock. It has no markings on the clock. Most of these clocks do have some markings on them. This one does not. So you have to kind of know what you're dealing with. All right, let's just put a little oil up here. And just continue oil and just continue oil in the pivot points. So let's just see what happens. Okay, guys, so I put it all back together as you can see here, and everything seems to be running perfectly. You just have to adjust the beat. And the way to adjust the beat in the clock is there's two screws I showed you before how to take off the face. Take that screw there and then loosen it, and the face will move left and right. And that's how you adjust the beat. So the beat is the most important. You can hear how the beat comes off and comes on. You can just tell them eventually it'll just be just right. Um, so that's how you adjust the clock. That's how you adjust the beat. Uh, that's how you oil everything. I hope you learned how to do this. It's so important. Um, it's really, really easy. You know, don't be in, um, you know, and tightened by the, the clock and the gears. It's really simple. So I hope you learned a lot. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing is so important to my channel. It does help support do what I to do what I do. And I do appreciate you watching this video and learning. Hope it wasn't too long, but I really want to get into it and just show you how to take it apart and how to oil the clock. And that's really the mo most important part. And once it's all back together, it runs really well. And I can just show you that at the end. But like I said, adjust the face, you get it going. Really, really simple. And the clock has a beautiful, beautiful sound to it. Um, so once you adjust that bevel, that's the most important part. And that's it. All right, guys, let's hear the clock.